Good morning, Chuck here. Have you ever needed a vacation from a vacation? Yeah. Well, we're leaving here in a couple of days to take the ladies to Mook Dahan, but I want to talk to you guys today about our up and coming trip in Kotchan. kind of an update of where we're going. Uh, we usually meet quite a few people in, Ko I said Ko Chang, right? Not Ch uh, <laughs> in Ko Chang. So uh, I just want to kind of give you guys a, an idea of what we're doing. I'm very, we're very excited this time to go to Ko Chang. Our trip got cut short last time because of the pandemic, but uh, I think it's going to be super awesome this time. It's going to be quiet. And uh, we're gonna get a, tr this is gonna be called the Gochang Luxury Tour. Cause normally we don't like to stay in the fancy places because it's just, it's not our crowd. And I don't know, we, we don't spend much time in the hotel, but right now they have super cheap deals right now. Plus there's a stimulus vacation package that the government's offering for Thai people. And they just extended another five more days on that, which was a total of 10 days. So we're taking advantage of that along with a lot of Thai people. It's Songkran weekend right now. So um, there's a lot of people going to the islands. I'm thankful that we're not there right now <laughs> because there's a lot of people, but um, I think it's gonna be a great trip. I hope you guys come with us on this adventure. I'm hoping that it's really clean. A lot of places in Thailand are not super clean. It's disappointing sometimes. I know if you go on a lot of the high-end resorts, they keep the areas pretty clean. So I'm kind of curious to see the condition of, you know, this whole thing, at least I think nature got a break, which is, which is a good thing. Not too many good things I think have come out of this, but that's one of them. And uh, yeah, I, I don't really want to talk too much about right now about what's going on in Thailand. I know you guys probably are getting tired of watching my videos because it becomes depressing because at the moment you don't know exactly if you're going to be able to come back to Thailand anytime soon. But there's a lot of talk on the internet. There's a lot of videos. There's a lot of people talking about this is what's going to happen. And, and even the Thai government is talking about things. But um, after being here a little while, I know that they'll make a decision and then it'll change pretty quick because I don't think they think things really through a lot and uh, they don't think about the repercussions of what the, whatever they've implemented at that time. So I don't even really want to talk about what's going on right now. I, I just can't see a country staying isolated what would the benefit of that really be for something that you know was supposed to be like a hurricane coming you know everybody get in the storm shelter but they still want you to be in there even though it was just a it wasn't a hurricane it just was a rain shower you know so it doesn't make sense to a lot of people and uh that's just my corny example <laughs> relax so uh We'll see what happens, but I don't think any country can stay isolated for, I mean, people are talking like five years and this and that, but it'll play out soon, it has to. Anyway, we're, <laughs> I just want to talk a little bit about the reason why I don't want to talk about what's going on, but if, if I get some solid stuff, I'll, I'll talk to you guys and tell you guys what's happening. You guys already, a lot of you already know about um, the Phuket opening up to tourists. 
And a lot of people are freaking out because they've only so far approved a couple of places like high-end resorts that are just, nobody's gonna go see that, but they're, as soon as they start approving more places, the prices will be really competitive and it might be easy for the person that wants to come long-term holiday like 90 days stuff like that so let's we don't even need to really worry about that at the moment a lot of things will change between the beginning of september right now towards the end of the month when they want to try to start to open up a little bit october 1st so we'll talk about it then but i hope you guys come with us on the cult chong trip and we're going to stay at some really nice four and five star resorts. It might be something you guys are interested in in the future. Hopefully I get a chance to video the, the grounds and the place to give you guys a better idea of, of the surroundings in the hotel and what the hotel has, has to offer. We just have to make sure it's okay with the hotel first, but most of the time it's okay. But we're headed to Ubon it's a couple hundred kilometers south of where we're at here we're headed to a place called the out i think it's called the outside in outback in i don't remember <laughs> i'll put a link down below but uh it's a mexican restaurant slash resort and we have a reservation there i know there's a couple of people that live in that area i'll put a link down there we'll be there actually on monday the 14th which is uh i don't know when this video is going to be coming out but it'll try to get it out before the 14th <laughs> if not you know you guys can always follow me on my facebook page because a lot of times people say hey if you're still in the area like in gulch chong or white sands or whatever but maybe we've already gone home we're already at home by the time the video gets published um if you are a vlogger and you make videos you gotta understand how you still have to be able well i'm not gonna explain it but it usually every other day i put a video out so it makes it easier to really kind of enjoy the travel the editing and all that stuff so page so we're headed to ubon monday and then then we're headed to buri buriram 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 uh, for one night and then we're headed to Chantabori, which is between Trat and Rayong. So it's, uh, it's gonna be on the water. It's a nice, it's kind of more Thai style, but um, food's great, beach is good. They've got a nice bike path. I might bring my bike, I haven't decided yet. Koh Chang be kind of tough to ride a bike, but I did tell Paige, I said, we need to do more things than just sitting by the beach and drinking beer and eating shrimp. Uh, maybe we need to we need to try to do some more like hiking tour maybe go see some waterfalls or climb some mountains and she's like okay <laughs> and so i don't know maybe we'll have to see how we feel when we get there but uh then we're headed from jantapuri to kochang our plan right now we've already got the places booked uh, we've got seven days on the island. I'm not sure if we're going to Kalkut. I want to go, but we'd have to leave the island because they're not run. They're, there's nobody there, so usually you can catch a, a, a boat, speed boat, from Kalkut to Kalkut, no problem. But we'll have to see. We'll go visit my friend Max, Max Tours on the island, and uh, see what kind of adventures we can get on the island. It might be slim pickings because there's not. I don't know, we'll, we'll just have to see. But we definitely got seven days booked already on the island, and then we don't really have too many plans after that. I don't really know. Uh, we gotta get back here by the middle of next month. We got some things going on in the town um, by the end of the, somewhere around the middle of next month. So I don't know how long we're gonna be gone. Between two, and three weeks, I'm guessing, something like that. But I hope you guys watch the videos. If you're here, you guys are welcome to come along with us. It's always fun with a group. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm sure it's gonna be fun. But I have a lot of, oh, I've had three different groups of subscribers that have showed up in the last couple days. And man, I'm a little tired. We've been nonstop in the house. It's been my mother-in-law's birthday month. So 
we've just been having like a lot of Sunday fun days, it seems like, right? <laughs> Well, I hate to break it to you, but today is actually Sunday again. I know it's kind of weird with the way I'm putting these videos out, but, um, you know, I don't know. They still want to do something tonight. They actually kind of uh, volunteered me to make pizza. So uh, our friend CJ and his family still here. He really wanted to get some pizza. So tonight, uh, I think they're staying another night. Maybe they'll get a chance to have some uh, Papa Chuck pizza. <laughs> I hope you guys stick with us for this video. If you're tired of seeing the Sunday fun day drinking and eating binges, then you can stop right now. <laughs> and, uh, but I, I'm sure it'll be much of the same, but always a good time and fun. I'm almost tired. Of, I'm a little tired of making the videos about Sunday fun day because I have to edit it and try to, and it's the same thing over and over. But I know you guys love it. And you like to see the family because we don't get that back home uh, where we're from because people are, uh, I don't know, the culture's changed so much, right? We don't have a lot of tolerance for uh, family members, friends, or anybody that doesn't seem to uh, think the same that we do. Not everybody, but it's sometimes getting people together in a group, that's not fun anymore, you know, back in the state. That's just, I know that's not all like that. That's just my little generic opinion about uh, get-togethers in the West. So anyway, I hope you guys come with us today. And uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be a fun day. Well, I think this is going to be a mini Sunday fun day, which is very good. <laughs> I think we're all kind of partied out. So my mother-in-law made awesome, my favorite fried chicken wings. Hello, I'm a guy taught. Hello, I teach you. Hello, I'm a. I made a little bit of garlic bread and three pizzas. Hello, I'm a. Of course, the two of them aren't done yet. Hello, I. They eat pizza with a fork and spoon. I tried to tell them how to eat it, but it doesn't matter. Number two. I don't know what, one of them's messed up pretty bad. <laughs> when I took it out of the pan, one of them came apart. <laughs> okay, number three, extra crunchy. <laughs> cop, 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 cop. <laughs> they wanted it extra crunchy. <laughs> can't get they're, they're all so cool. Extra pineapple. Well guys, that's it. I hope you come with us on our next journey. I'm kind of excited. Today was kind of a chill Sunday fun day, but we're going to move to Han on the next video. I hope you guys come with us and please come with us on the trip to Koh Chang. It'll be super fun. Thanks for watching today's video. Subscribe, like, share. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Chung out. Pizza, aloe mai? Aloe mai. Aloe mai. Okay, okay. Gin to Juan? Gin to Juan? I say you want it every day? No. <laughs> See you guys later.